So he bit the police officer and he shot him twice in the head. The numbers don't lie. Detroit police shoot a lot of dogs. About two thirds of dogs shot by Detroit police are stray, dogs loose on the street that present a danger to the public. But there is another side to the story. While police are doing their jobs, executing warrants, perhaps or following suspects, they sometimes encounter dogs and many times those dogs wound up shot dead. Our investigation starts at this home on Westmoreland Street on Detroit's west side. Just a typical house with a dog in the backyard. It was April of 2021. That was him right there. Now, his name is Bill. He was my companion. I had him for eight years. He was my buddy. Delores Roby says his dog Bill was right over here beyond this fence, just chilling in his own yard. Roby says a Detroit police officer climbed the fence and he was looking for a gun he thought someone threw in the yard. It was his yard. Anything he caught in that yard belongs to him. So he bit the police officer and he shot him twice in the head. That was two years ago. And unfortunately, what we found, Bill's violent death was not an isolated incident. <laughs> Records from the city of Detroit show in a three year period from 2020 through 2022, Detroit police shot at 100 dogs. Of the 100 reports we looked at, it appears police shot at dogs on the dog's property in at least 30 of those situations, like what happened to Roby's dog, Bill. When they shot him, they shot a member of the family. Included in the Detroit police incident reports, officers executing a search warrant shot and killed a dog that was tethered in a driveway. Officers fired 13 shots on a dog that was cornered in a bedroom and officers chased a carjacking suspect and killed a dog that happened to be in a yard they were passing through. I get calls constantly where the, the animal is behind fencing, behind um, or, or contained and these officers are still um, seizing the property. Attorney Celeste Dunn specializes in animal law and has represented families whose dogs were killed by police. And under Michigan law, a dog growling, lunging, jumping is considered common, normal canine behavior. Don't forget these animals are on their own property, right? So their instinct is going to be to protect the property, not necessarily hurt the officer. They just need to be contained. So during the same three year time period that Detroit police shot 100 dogs, we did a comparison. So for example, in Milwaukee, they shot 12 dogs. Over in Grand Rapids, officers shot at three dogs. Then Chicago, a city four times the size of Detroit, officers shot at 31 dogs. After reading through dozens of incident reports and sorting out the data, we noticed something disturbing. First, dog shootings by DVD officers seem to be on the rise. In 2020, Detroit police officers were involved in 24 dog shootings. Then in 21, 32 cases of dogs being shot. Then last year, the numbers were on the rise. There were 44 cases of officers shooting dogs. And in most cases, those dogs died. DeLawrence Roby didn't get a chance to save Bill. Instead of knocking on our door and telling us to put, would you mind putting the dog away? They didn't. The city of Detroit has paid out hundreds of thousands of dollars in claims to people whose dogs were shot by DPD officers. Coming up at 6, I'm going to sit down with Detroit Police Assistant Chief to talk about the rise in the dog shootings, if better training is needed, also the issue of stray dogs in our city, and that part of our investigation is tonight at 6. It's kind of hard to explain away the city comparison. I mean, you know, one city's dogs, we wouldn't expect to be more dangerous than another city's dogs, yeah. only the response would be different. And right? that's the valid point there, especially yeah. when you compare it to Chicago. They have crime, they have narcotics, they we have pit it, bulls, yes. they have all the same things. Sure. So why are, is our rate three times higher? There has to be a questioning about training and response. All right, more coming up here in our next half hour. Right, Karen.